Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So you must have already heard about that Java 8 support uh, is no longer available. And from uh, September 30th, 2023, Java 11 will be the minimum version supported by Selenium. And I have already prepared a detailed video on this that what happened and then now uh, from September 30th onwards, Selenium won't support Java 8 because Java 8 is uh, from Oracle side also, there is no direct support available. So now what we have to do that uh, we have two choices, either we can go with the Java 11 or we can go with Java 17 also. Because from 17, uh, September 30, 2023 is also end of active support for Java 11. So however, we want to take a curious and conservative path forward, according to official documentation provided by Selenium, this is the latest uh, blog from Selenium here, you can see that. So maybe after September, once the support is no more available from the Oracle side also, from the Java side also for Java 11, then maybe we can start Java 70. But I would advise you to install Java 11 and your system if you are using uh, a JDK 8, 9 or 10. So better to use uh, Java 11 now. And then maybe after September 30th, we will see that uh, so JDK 17 also we can download and we can set up later. So if you're running, uh, please take some time to check your infrastructure and your code and everything. If you're running your test cases on Java 11 or higher, this is the instruction given by the Selenium team. So now what we will do, we will need Java 11 now, right? So what we have to do here, we have to first of all that uh, install Java 11. So you can download uh, Java 11 from the Oracle official website. So you just need to write a uh, download JDK 11. And then uh, you simply go to Java SE archive downloads, official download from the oracle.com. And here you can see Oracle JDK is available. And then uh, these are the different downloads options are available here. The latest version that we are using JDK 11.0.18. And if you see that there are another table 11.0.17 also there, but we are going to download the latest update with JDK 11. So it's up to you, uh, which operating system that you are having it. If you're having Linux or Mac or uh, Windows for Mac machine, I can prepare a separate video later, but you can download this DMG installer or, and this is for ARM and this is for uh, Mac OS. And then uh, Windows 64 bit, you can download this particular uh, installer. This is just simple exe file around 141 MB. So I'm not going to download because this exe file I have already downloaded because it will take another five, 10 minutes to download this uh, file. So it's file. This file is actually already available in my system and then I'm going to uh, use it. So <clears throat> I simply go to my uh, downloads folder. Make sure that when you download it, it will ask you to log in with Oracle so you can sign up with Oracle and then you can log in after that only you can download it. Otherwise, it will not allow you to download. For example, if I click on it, see, and then you have to select this checkbox and download JDK 11. Then uh, if you have already logged in in Oracle website, then only it will ask you. Otherwise, it will navigate you to, to the login page. Here you can see it's navigating me to the login page. Okay. So I have already downloaded in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, go to my, this is a JDK 11 is available. I'm just going to click on it. Simple like click on next, 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 and click on finish. Everything will be there. After that, we have to set up our environment variable also. It's saying that, okay, yeah, preparing to download. And it's saying, would you like to reinstall it? Because I have already installed JDK 11 in my system. So I'm not going to download, sorry, I'm not going to install one more time because there is no point of wasting the time and then rewriting the thing, same thing again. So that you can just simply click on yes and then next and next click on accept the license agreement and click on finish. And then the JDK 11 will be there in your system where exactly it will be downloaded. Go to C drive and then you have to go to your program files. And in the program files, you have to go to Java. And here you can see that JDK 8 is also available and JDK 11 is also available. But remember a couple of things here that <clears throat> JDK 8... Till JDK 8, Java used to give you two options. You Along with JDK, you are getting JRE folder also. But now you are getting only JDK here. Can you see? We are not getting any JRE 11. I'll tell you. Because this happened after JDK 9. So don't worry that why I'm not getting JRE. Because we are using JDK 11. So you will not get any JRE version here. So that's okay. So it's just simple open this JDK. 
and you can see all the binary files and everything dll and all server files are available here now what we have to do first of all that we have to up to jdk we have to give the java underscore home path in my environment variable so first what we will do we will open this command prompt and then we will check that what exactly the java version in my environment variable i have already set up so here you can see i'm still running my 1.8.0 and I can check my Maven version also that where exactly my Maven is, which Java version Maven is pointing to. So I'm having the Maven and Maven is pointing to the Java version 1.8.0 because obviously without Java, Maven will not work. And if you're using the Maven based project also, then in that case, you really need to have Java as well. So what we have to do, we have to set up the version for Java in my environment variable so that I can execute my Java code from anywhere plus Maven also will pick the latest JDK 11 version from the Java underscore home path. So what we have to do, we will just simply go to uh, right click on your PC here and then go to properties and uh, go to advanced system settings from here and then click on environment variables. And if you see that here, my Java underscore home is actually pointing to JDK 1.8. So we have to replace with JDK 11 here. Super simple. If you don't have Java underscore home, please create this Java underscore home this thing is the capital letter and the path whatever the path that we have uh, seen here this jdk 11 uh, sorry yeah jdk 11 path copy this path and go back to your environment variables and then simply replace it here <clears throat> and then after that click on okay okay and then after that you have to add one more path variable so simply click on path here and then click on add it and then you must have seen that java underscore home backslash bin also bin means the, all the binary files. So you have to add this java underscore home with percentage. Can you see percentage java underscore home and then again percentage and then backslash bin. It means java underscore home is a variable that is your windows variable windows shell variable that we have already created which is already pointing to JDK 11 and then we have to give up to backslash bin also. That's it. And after that, click on simple OK. And then again, click on OK, this apply and then click on OK. And then I'll just check my Java version one more time. Here is still saying 1.8. So what should I do? I just simple exit my terminal or command prompt and open my terminal one more time. So let's open the command prompt once again. And now I'm going to check Java space version. Now you can see Java 11 is updated here. Same thing I can check with the Maven also. I'll quickly check that my Maven is also pointing to JDK 11 or not. Yes, Java 11 Maven is also pointing. Perfect. So this is also absolutely working fine here. Okay. So Java is set up. Maven is already pointing to 11 now. That's it. Now there is one more small thing that you have to take care that when you install Java, right? When you install JDK 11 or any Java, you simply go to C program files and then go to common files and under common files, you go to Oracle folder. It will automatically create and under that Java folder is also there and open this Java path. Under this Java path, you will see various uh, tools like Java interpreter is there or compiler is there or J shell is also there. You can just run your code, write your code directly in the shell command. I mean, on the shell prompt, you can write it. So J shell Java shell is also there. So these are the different Java based applications are already there. So what you have to do, just cross check this path is also there in my environment variable or not. So I quickly go and check it once again. I right click on my this PC and go to properties and uh, go to advanced system settings, go to environment variables, and then uh, you have to go to your path variable. Okay. See, I'm going to path variable, click on add it and slightly scroll down. And here you can see Java underscore home path is there, but this one is also there. So make sure that Java underscore home is coming first. And then after that, you have to write your Oracle Java Java path also here. If you really want to use those compilers or our, uh, you know, a J shell or interpreters. So that also you can set up here like this, but Java underscore home, make sure it's pointing backslash bin till here. Perfect. After that, click on OK. And that's it. Now. If you are using some old version of Eclipse, so might be possible that your Eclipse is not supporting JDK 11. So you have to upgrade your Eclipse also. For example, let's say if you're using Eclipse Neon, then you have to, Neon does not support 1.8. So you have to download the latest Eclipse as well. 
So it's just simple download the latest Eclipse and whatever the project that you are having it. For example, let's see, I have created one simple framework project over here where this is a Maven Java project and I'll open this pom.xml file. In pom.xml file, what exactly we used to write like JDK 1.8 version is there. And in the compiler plugin also, if you slightly go down here, we used to write the source and the target JDK version I really want to use with 1.8. Here, you just need to upgrade to JDK 11 now. How will you do that? Simple. Remove 1.8 from here. You just need to write, I'm using JDK 11. You can write it here, Java 11. Okay. And then again, you slightly scroll down. And in the compiler plugin also, you have to write source 11 here. Be careful and uh, here also 11. That's it. And press Ctrl S after that. Save it. And once you save it, just right click on your project and then go to Maven and update the Maven project. So let's see, I'm updating the project. Click on OK. You don't need to do any changes in your Selenium code or in your page object model or in your framework or anywhere. Everything will remain same. Same concept. Web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver. So code wise, you don't need to do anything. We just need to do this configuration and I'm pretty much sure you guys are using either uh, Gradle or uh, Maven. Majority of the people are using Maven here and uh, in the Maven in the compiler plugin, you just need to write JDK 11. Same thing if you're using Gradle in the plugin section, you have to write Java 11 over there and that's it. Now you can see my JRE is actually pointing to Java 11 here. Java SE 11 means JDK 1.11 or JDK 11. I'm using it here in this particular project and that's it. Now, what do you just need to do? I just need to check that uh, whatever the code that I'm writing or I have written, is it really working or not? So let's see, this is my regression.xml file or testng.xml file that I have created where only one test entry is there. I really want to run my login page test. So if you go to our login page test, that is what I have written somewhere in my SRC test Java, which is uh, login page test. So this login page test is written with the testng and uh, Internally, I'm using the page object model. I'm using uh, Java. Sorry, I'm using uh, here. You can see a complete page object model for the login page that I have written. I'm not explaining this code. You can see this is a pure Java code that we have. Uh, it's already there. We just need to check that uh, I'm able to run this these test cases or not and keep running all your test cases again and again. Make sure if you're running with the Jenkins also for Jenkins, you need JDK 11 now. So uh, when you integrate with the Jenkins as well, make sure on that machine, you have, you should have GDK 11 as well. And then that's it. So now what I'll do, I simple right click and go to run as uh, test NG. Let's see after upgrading to 11, my test is really running or not. So let's see here. You can see that. Yeah. Running the test cases running in the local ignore this particular log 4 J warning error. Chrome driver started. And here you can see. Yeah, that's actually working fine here and uh, it's just highlighting the element and just running their simple login page test cases and then that's it. And then after that, it's saying all the four test cases got passed. You can see the result over here as well. Perfect. So this is absolutely working fine without any problem. Now, a couple of things what we can do here is uh, <clears throat> we can check that is it really working with the help of Maven also. So we will check from Eclipse as well as uh, from the command line as well. So what I'll do, I simple right click on my project and then simple go to run as and first of all, Maven clean, I can use it. Just simple clean the project and uh, then we can write Maven clean install after that. So let me open the console here. Here you can see that, yeah, on the console, the build is successfully done. If any missing artifact or any, uh, you know, Maven artifacts are missing, it will download that. Okay. Then uh, after that, I do one thing. I simply right click on the project once again, go to run as maven build dot 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 this option. The goal section, you just need to write what? Just maven build command. So I'm writing maven clean install. You don't need to write maven, simple write clean install, apply and run. Uh, it will start uh, downloading a couple of options. It will start the maven life cycle. So it's compiling the code with the help of JDK 11 and uh, it's getting failed. So maybe let's see what is the issue here. So here, here it's saying that compiler plugin and a fatal error illegal Lombok API is missing. Okay. If you're getting something like this, that uh, 
illegal access and the Lombok Java, Lombok processor is missing and cannot access something because Lombok is actually used by Selenium also internally. So this compiler plugin is not able to find that. So how will you solve this problem? What do you do? Simple go to Google and then search for Lombok Maven APIs or Maven dependency actually. <clears throat> and then um, go to this uh, Maven official repository and we will pick the latest Lombok. So simple click on it and uh, we will copy this uh, Lombok dependency. If you are getting that error, then only you have to add it. Otherwise you can ignore this particular step. So simple press control C and go back to your terminal. I mean, go back to your Eclipse, not terminal. And uh, I'll go to my pom.xml file, which is already, uh, which is already here. And then I'll just add that dependency over here at the end. Okay. Because when you run it with the help of testng, there is no issue. But when you run it with the help of Maven, Maven is not able to identify this particular dependency. And then remove this scope from here. I don't want to use any compiler or provided or test scope. I want to use it anywhere. So simple press control S after that. And then after that, actually, we are absolutely good to go with that. So it's downloading this dependency and that's it. Okay, after that, again, open your project, right click on it. And let's see this time again, I'm going to run as maven build dot dot and simple write clean install here. No spelling mistake and click on apply and then run. Let's see, is it really picking this time or not? So I'll open the console here. This is my console output. Let me maximize the console. Again, it will start the maven life cycle <clears throat> and then um, Okay, now this time it's actually compiling the project properly. Test compile, it will compile your test classes and with the help of Surefire plugin, it will start uh, running my test. Okay, we can ignore this particular warning, that's fine. And uh, let's see, the browser is getting launched or not. Yes, it's saying browser is Chrome, simple click on allow access. And then after that, it will run it. So Chrome driver is started successfully and you can see, yes, Chrome is getting started. And then uh, perfect, it's running my <clears throat> login test cases or whatever test cases that you really want to run, you can run it here. So this is absolutely working fine from the uh, Maven side also. You can ignore the socket exception, it's internally uh, error, that's fine. But you, here you can see that uh, four test cases are absolutely working fine over here and build is overall success here. Okay, zero failures. Same thing if you really want to run it from your uh, terminal, that also you can run it. So what exactly I'm going to do I have to go to that particular directory. It means where exactly that uh, project is available. So my project is available here. Right click on it, go to properties. So just check all the options that everything is working fine or not. So setting the build path, apply later, that's fine. And then simple copy this and uh, come back to your terminal and then change the directory to this. So now we can check it here that under this DIR where we have a SRC and all those things are available. So I'll do one thing. First of all, that let me just simple apply and close. And uh, I'll do one thing. I quickly check that my other, uh, you know, re reports and all those things also coming properly or not. So extend report or LR report as well. So I simple right click and delete the previous reports. And then I'm going to generate the new report. So I really want to check that Java 11 is not impacting my reports as well. I don't think so it will impact, but uh, let's see. So now you can see, let me just simple clear the screen and uh, simple write the DIR and here we have SRC POM file is available. Which command you just need to do, simple write maven clean install. And then that's it. Let's see, is it really working or not from the command line? And then we will see the LEO report and the extend report as well for the login page. So again, it will start the uh, Maven lifecycle here. You can see test compilation is done with the help of Surefire plugin. It will start running your test cases and uh, see it's running my test cases. And um, let's see the login page. I mean, the browser is getting launched or not. I'm using latest, almost like test ng 7.x version. I'm using it. Ignore this log4j warning. That's okay. This is internally. I'm using some log4j API. So that's fine. And uh, see something, something. The browser is getting launched here. And then it's absolutely working fine. Perfect. 
greg at gmail.com and log in and then browser will be closed after that and that's it so here you can see that yeah the test is absolutely good to go and then we are absolutely getting the right results over here okay after that after some time it will just give you the okay see it's working fine four test cases zero failure perfect and you can see element found and all those things we are using it here now i really want to check that uh, simple right click on it and go to refresh and uh, my extend report is actually coming under report section so let's copy this path of extend report i really want to check that my extend report is uh, working or not so copy this and go back to the browser and let's uh, paste it over here nice so extend report is absolutely working four test cases got passed you can see the results and everything is coming properly the graph and all those things nice nice report only four test cases are there and same thing LA report will be generated as a web report if you don't know how to generate the extend report in LA report please watch a separate video for that guys and then here i'm writing let's see LA uh, serve LA results and let's see the LA report is coming or not so our target is just to check that okay yeah with gdk 11 nothing is getting impacted you can see yes four test cases are absolutely working fine with the login page test under this package class name four test cases are there and which is absolutely good to go with that nice you can see login with username password and all those things here okay so that's all for this uh, video please uh, configure with jdk 11 let me know in case of any issues might be you might face some issue with the eclipse version or uh, you have to upgrade it and make sure that okay you after the uh you know after the java underscore home path you just need to check your java version here don't forget to check that it should start pointing to jdk 11 just like this and same thing for the maven also and maven also should start pointing to jdk 11 if you really want to use it with maven if you are not using maven then you can ignore the maven part from here okay so that's all for this video i hope it's clear and uh let's see uh after uh, september 30th uh, if any updates are coming from the selenium side we will try to upgrade to jdk 17 also but now i think we are absolutely good to go with jdk 11 so thank you so much thanks for watching share this video with with other folks in your team or other uh, colleagues or uh, friends so that they will also upgrade it properly and let me know in the comment section if you're facing any issues with that. Thank you so much, guys.